Hello, Adolfo from Quartena here, and in this video, we're going to talk about Kubernetes at the edge and how this has become a reality. In this demonstration, I'm going to use a live streaming platform as a use case, and I am going to highlight the ability to use single sign-on with Portainer, multi-cloud, multi-cluster, and edge management, and application and infrastructure observability. The architecture has got several elements. A Git repository, a single sign-on engine, the Portainer server, streaming endpoints, ingest and RTMP servers, and an app stack. We're going to start with the single sign-on process. So let's go to the Portainer instance and log into my Portainer server with single sign-on. Oh, I need multi-factor here authentication. And I am in. Okay, so here we see all the elements we saw on the architecture slide. Let's see the next step here in this demonstration will be to deploy the ingest server. The ingest server is going to be deployed on this AWS EKS cluster that is running in Ohio. And I am going to do this via GitOps. So I start with deploying an application via manifest, call this ingest, and I link Portino to a repository. This repository also uses single sign-on. This is the repo URL. Let me paste it in here. And I need authentication in this case. It's already cached with my username. Let me just type in the password. I could save this login if I need to use this repository repeatedly. It won't be the case now, but that's another very cool feature that we have here in Portainer when it comes to GitOps. And the YAML manifest is called ingest server. Let's check it out here. It's the YAML manifest. Here I see the deployment and the services. And I can click on deploy. And there we have it. Let's check if it's up and running. There it is. The URL of this ingest server is ingest.edge. And this is the admin panel. And here it is. There are zero connections. I'm not streaming anything yet. And let's see, let's go back to our Portainer instance and check here with our slides. What's the next step? The next step is to deploy an RTMP server. Now these RTMP servers, those are the ones that are running at the edge. So I have to use another method to deploy the applications onto these Kubernetes clusters running at the edge. For this, I'm going to use our edge compute feature. The logic is interesting. I define a tag that I'm going to use to tag endpoints that are gonna fall automatically onto an edge group that will be linked to an edge stack. And the edge stack is the YAML manifest that I want to push to the Kubernetes clusters at the edge. The interesting thing about this technology is that it allows me to deploy the same application regardless of where my Kubernetes clusters are located and regardless of the Kubernetes cluster I am using, right? Let me show you how this works. I start by defining a tag here under environments. So let's go here, environments, tags. I'm going to call this RTMP. Now I go to edge groups. And the logic that I had mentioned, RTMP edge, oh, there it is, RTMP edge group, is using tags to be able to map endpoints into this group. There is the option of doing this manually. If you have a small amount of Kubernetes clusters, yes, this can be done. Now, if you think of hundreds, not even hundreds, if you think of 10 or more clusters or you, that you need to manage, it's easier to use the tagging option. And the way the tags work here with the groups is via partial or for match. Partial is or, meaning if I have more than one tag and any of those tags are in any of the endpoints being managed by Portainer, it falls into this group. Full match is the tag is mandatory, the and or logic. And so it really has to have this tag in order to fall into this group. So now I add the edge group and I link this edge group to a stack. I'm going to call it RTMP edge stack, link it to the group I had mentioned. 
It's a Kubernetes YAML manifest because these are Kubernetes at the edge. Back to my repository. It's RTMP edge. This is the URL of this repository. Copy paste and it's called RTMP edge. Let's see. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'm going to deploy the stack. Now, deploying the stack doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be sent to the Kubernetes running at the edge because they haven't been tagged yet. So I want to start with one Kubernetes cluster. In this case, let's say New York. And it's as easy as going into environments here. These are the environments being managed by Portainer and tagging this RTMP Kubernetes cluster accordingly. So if I go into edge stacks, I will see that it's been acknowledged by the cluster and it's already been deployed. Okay, next step is to deploy the app stack where the web front end is running that receives the streams and displays them on a web page. For that, we're going to use this bare metal app stack cluster. This bare metal app stack cluster is running in Helsinki. So let's go into this cluster locations. I'm going to use the same method, the GitOps method. So I'm going to select the app stack namespace, call it app stack, link it to the app stack URL here in my Git repository. It's called app stack YAML. Click on deploy. And what happens now is that I have an app stack running on this Kubernetes cluster. Now I want to publish this. I want to use ingress for this. And we have an amazing interface to do that. It's called the ingress form where we select the namespace, select the ingress. I type in here, the host. The service is this one that we've just deployed. The path will be the root of this host. I create this ingress. And if I click here, it should take me to the web front end. There it is. Nothing is being streamed yet. New York is not receiving anything. So I'm going to start the stream of a video. It's like clouds. If you were flying over clouds, the video. So New York is going to receive this stream because it's the only RTMP server that is up and running. Let me start the stream process for that. I am using a little script with FMPEG, which is a very interesting video encoding and streaming utility. This is the, let's see, here it is. This is the URL. So it's all being sent to the ingest server and the ingest server is going to start distributing that accordingly to all the other RTMP servers that are up and running. Again, in this case, only New York. If we go to our web app here, as we can see, only New York started receiving the stream. Now I need to distribute this around all these locations. These locations are actually the locations that are being serviced by civil, the civil cloud. So I have one Kubernetes cluster running on the New York location, another one in Phoenix, London, and Frankfurt. So now I want to bring up the, let's say London server. All I have to do is tag RTMP onto this endpoint and this Kubernetes cluster running in London is going to receive the stack. Going to edge stacks to have been acknowledged and very soon we should see two deployed and two have been deployed. Okay, let's check on the web app. Oh, there you go. Now London is also receiving the stream. And for all the other locations, it's pretty much the same thing. All I have to do is tag the environments with the RTMP tag and Frankfurt. And soon enough, we will see these these clusters receiving the YAML manifest that brings up the RTMP server on those Kubernetes clusters running at the edge. Let's see if they have all received the deployment. Yes, for them received the YAML manifest and they've been successfully deployed. Let's check on the web app if 
the other two locations started receiving the stream. Let's check here our web. Oh, there you go. All four locations are receiving the stream. As we saw, here, let's go back to our slides. Setting up all these other Kubernetes clusters running at the edge is as easy as just tagging them. And with the Pretender Edge technology, they start receiving the YAML manifests automatically. Those manifests are being pushed to the clusters and they start coming up online consistently, all running the same app. It's just tag and boom, there you go. Let's just recap quickly. This architecture was all set up with an ingest server, RTMP servers, the web front end on the app stack, all using a Git repository to deploy the YAML manifests and specifically the Kubernetes clusters running at the edge. They receive their YAML manifests very easily, very quickly using our edge technology. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.